thank you so much for finally having time. I know you're a busy lady to sit down and have a conversation with us. Um, ever since I first got the opportunity to see you and um, your other partner, I've been very, very impressed by you ladies. You know, I, I'm not a bike rider. I'm in the cars. But, you know, as the car culture or the bike culture, um, I feel like we are all one big family. So with that being said, like exactly. I said, thank you for sitting down to answer the fans' questions. We really appreciate it. So okay. what I'll do is I'll start off with one of my questions, and then I'll get right into the fans' questions, okay? Okay. All right. So tell us how you got started riding bikes and how long you've actually been riding bikes. Oh, God. Um, I got started. Um, I've been riding since I was a kid. I started on YZ80. Um, my brother, I grew up, you know, we have four wheelers. I'm from the country, so I've been riding my whole life. Um, mm -hmm. Can you tell how long I've been riding? Uh -huh. uh, over 30 years, a long time. What? <laughs> Yeah, you barely look like you're 30 years old. Talking about you've been riding bikes for 30 years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We ain't gonna believe time. that. We might need to see some IDs. You talking about you've been riding bikes for 30 years? <laughs> I've been riding bikes for 30 years, over 30 years, actually. Yeah. So what what made you decide to? Because you started on a cross rocket, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, so what know, made I you decide on... to graduate to the other type of bike? Custom. Mm -hmm. The custom world. Um, I had already done all the cross rocket stuff. I've always had a custom bike, so I've always had the big wheel bikes. They always been chrome. Um, I've been through quite a few motorcycles, ten, fifteen motorcycles. So um, it's time for the next stage of you know the custom, the custom world. So I retired for a little while, and then I came back, and all the way custom. <laughs> All the way. So how did the Big Wheel Women come about? <laughs> big Wheel Women came about. Um, I met Tanisha at an all-female ride um, in North Carolina in 2017. And, um, we, you know, she told me she had a, she was building a custom bike. And um, we just started, we were riding, we started riding together, you know. And um, we were in Miami. Um, at an event, and we're on South Beach, and we're doing a live, and I turned around and said, we're big wheel women. And it just <laughs> took off from there. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So, so, you know what always surprises me? Back in the days, of course, I'm 43. So when we were younger, women, we could be so catty. But what impresses me now is the camaraderie between the women and the car culture. Like, I think it's super dope that you were just able to start riding with her and all of a sudden big wheel women were, were born. You know, you guys weren't friends from middle school or high school, but it just came about and it just made sense. And that's one thing that I could really appreciate. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, you know, together we have our struggles um, dealing with the motorcycle culture. So, you know, we face quite a, you know, quite a few struggles being women. So, um, I mean, with, with everything, you know, yeah, we, we, we face some adversity, but, you know, we get through it. So, so talk to us that, that was, it's funny you segued into that. Cause I was going to ask, um, being in, the, being in this culture, talk to us about some of the adversities you guys face, um, being women in this culture. Um, the men are intimidated because, um, the bikes are accustomed to the extreme that they don't, they're not the same as the guys. So, of course, they automatically assume that somebody bought it for you or, you know, um, you don't know what you're doing. You got, you got too much bike. So we deal with a lot of controversy and that they didn't do their homework. So they didn't really know how long we've been riding, where we came from, or any of the above. So. So talk to us a little bit about how the collaboration with In and Out came about. Um, I think that um, we 
we both kind of were at the peak of it, you know, in the in the motorcycle game and probably in the car game. So how can we reach a different population, a different following? So I saw the common denominator and he saw the common denominator, the wheels. So um, let's just try to figure it out, see what it'll, see if it'll work, and how do we uh, bridge the two together? And um, I guess I'm the leader in the female bike world. He's a leader in the dog game. So we got, you know, we're trying it to see how it comes together. As you know, what I can't, I cannot tell a lie. That's a really, really smart marketing move. Very smart. Right. Plus, so, a lot of racers or bikers or um a lot of people that like drag race they i used to drag race so you like motorcycles so they all are one and the same like i kind of told him but the bikers tend not to like the cars because you know y'all run us over or y'all y'all so busy looking at the bikes you're not paying attention you got your hand out the window and you know craziness happened but you know plus everybody knows you know bike week so everybody kind of comes together anyway Right. Um, who taught you how to ride a bike? Um, my brother and I had a friend. So, uh -huh. you know, um, the childhood friends that we grew up with. And, um, <laughs> you know, how country kids know how to ride and drive at times that they shouldn't. And so I was one of them kids. So I was riding. <laughs> so you was riding, I was riding a bike. I was riding and I was on a dirt bike, a full somewhere like probably like seven, eight years old. So, so you was illegal all the way. All the way. <laughs> all the way. I did all the stuff that I shouldn't have done. Um, motorcycle, steal my mom's car, all that kind of stuff, with no driver's license or anything. Um, elaborate on your team. So, so big wheel woman is just you and. Um, what's her name? Tanisha. Bougie. That's you and Tanisha, right? Do y'all ever see adding any more ladies to the Big Wheel Women? Um, yes and no. So, um, I'm looking for brand ambassadors to represent the brand. I was, um, one of the original members of one of the largest female motorcycle club. So I don't want to necessarily go back down that road but we are looking for women in other states that who can represent the brand in a positive way and empower other women but i'm not trying to build a club um, i'm not trying to tell a bunch of women what to do and i don't want a bunch of women trying to tell me what to do so me and tanisha get along very well we ride good together um we work well together so i kind of you know it's easier that way so but we are looking for other positive women that can be influencers in different states in case one of us can't make it. Okay, so what's the steps on being a, a big wheel women ambassador? I guess the first one is you got to have a big wheel bike, huh? No, it doesn't have to be a big wheel bike. So one of the one of the things I say is you don't have to have a big wheel to be a part of the big deal. So just anything bigger than stock. So you don't have to have a great big wheel. So, um, we prefer, you know, hey, just that you're riding, um, you got positive influence, um, you, you've had some type of adversity that you've, um, overcame, and, um, you know, you're just positive. So, no drama. So, once you get your, I'm gonna throw my hat in the ring now, right? I mean, I know I don't ride a bike, but I want to, you know, when you get that thing worked out, I want to put my hat in the ring to be a, become an honorary. Okay. Just honorary. Like, I ain't gonna ride a bike. I'm gonna tell you that right now. <laughs> but oh, no. I can stand there and smile and wave and shake hands and kiss babies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, hey, now, somebody gotta hey, somebody got do it. Yeah, we are. Yeah, so we are, we are looking. I mean, it takes a lot. People don't understand. It takes a lot when we travel to set up to do the events. So we are looking for people that can help us to be solid, be a part of the team. Um, we're growing. So, I mean, it's, it's, yes, me and Tanisha are the face of Big Wheel Women, but we have people that help us and work behind it, you know, the scenes. Um, we have a manager now. We have a marketing company. So we have a team, and um, they're behind the scenes, but they, they help us to become what we are right now. They keep us on point. They help us with social media. So, you know, quite a few people that help us. 
how do you guys manage your personal life and your business life? Is it is it how do you do you do well at managing that or is it rough like having even having a personal life? Um it's um we we kind of manage it, you know. I, I think that sometimes, you know, they become a, the kids um, become a part of what we do. So, you know, um, my son Chicken Hawk travels with me a lot, and um, mm-hmm. you know he rides. So that's you know they're just the kids are there. So we try to have a kid friendly environment most of the time. And um, you know if he can go, and if not, then um, you know he might be home with a nanny or something. But for the most part. You know, the kids, you know, Tanisha's kids are older, so they travel or they're home or one might watch the other or something like that. So I want to tell you this, and I always have to tell, I tell the guys this too. So when guys see that it's a pretty girl coming on the show, they have questions that are personal questions. So I want to segue into those. And of course, the first question they had is, are you single? No. Okay, so we won't even ask the rest of the questions. <laughs> That's why I led with that one. <laughs> okay. That's All right. Enough. Right, right, right. So, um, some of the ladies asked if you ever have, um, if you ever think that in the future you will host, um, like writing classes for girls or some type of female mentorship program. Yes. So I am a motorcycle instructor already, but motorcycle is hosted through the, um, the federal the federal safety foundation. Therefore, it's a federal program. So I just can't hold a class, um, you know, in a parking lot. But if I have friends or young ladies that need help and they already have um, a permit, or I'll work with them if they're having trouble on turns and curves or whatever. Then I'll work with them. Um, yes, we are working on a retreat program right now, an empowerment program um, that is motorcycle based for women um, that's had some type of adversity um, course. Uh, actually, that's when I said I'm running a few minutes late. I had a meeting. That's what we're working on. So hopefully we're ready to launch it soon. So. That's dope. Is it hard being, is it hard continuing to... Um, come up with creative things to um, to push your brand forward. Um, yes and no. Um, I've been riding for a long time, long time. So um, it's just the the game doesn't change but so much, you know. So the trend that are, the trends that are out, so you just evolve to the trend. So you know, not really. I mean, we're women, so women are, are more detailed than men anyway, and we're in a male-dominated industry, so it's not hard to outthink the men anyway. So, you know, I hate to say it like that. Listen. Somebody said they, atten- they attended the show this weekend. Thank you. Yeah. So, talk to us about your next event. What do you have coming up next? Um, so I'm in Texas, November 7th at Texas Street Fest. Um, and, uh, the uh, Lone Star Rally was canceled this year. And um, we were asked to come in and host the, um, the sound off and the bike, the bike show portion of it. So we are going to be in Texas on November the 7th at um, Houston Raceway. So it's gonna it's gonna be a good it's gonna be a good good vibe and it's not just motorcycles it's like motorcycles slingshots cars trucks uh, side by side whatever you got you can bring it. He said he swear one of y'all slid past him and you made ain't them big rails made him go park his car. <laughs> oh. Don't stop it. <laughs> I can say, like, I've never been a person. I've always gravitated towards crotch rockets. But when I tell you, when I saw you guys' bikes, I was, like, in awe. Like, they're just, it seemed like they're just too pretty to ride. Like, it's just, like, it's just supposed to be sitting there just, like, looking nice. It's not supposed to be written. It's just, I don't know, because I've never, like, I used to drive, I used to ride a crotch rocket. But those things, they're really legit, like, look like works of art. Yeah, um, I still have a crotch rocket. It's in North Carolina. I still, you know, I started on a crotch rocket. Um, I had quite a few of them. So, 
Um, I still, I think Tanisha still got hers too. So we still got crush rockets. Um, the custom game just a little bit different, but we ride them. Um, and the way the show, we ride them, they all tore up under the bottom from hitting stuff. But we ride them. I put some tape on mine the other day to get through the show. But we ride them. So when you decided that you were going to make that you were going to have those big wheel custom bikes, was it surprising to you how much all the stuff cost? Um, yes and no. Um, man. You know, even with the sport bike, I had custom stuff. So, you know, I was running through jack shafts trying to burn out with a 300. So I already knew it was going to be expensive. And, um, when you jump out there, you know, it's not just the wheel, you know, it's the wheel, it's the neck, it's the fender, it's the chin, but like, you think that it's just one piece of it, you know, you got to change quite a bit just to get the wheel to fit up under there and you got to rake it. So it's, it, it's a lot that goes into putting that wheel on there. So, Do you have to still go through, because like in the car culture, people have such horror stories about, oh, I took my car here and they screw me over did did that ever happen to you personally or oh it did oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> yeah it started off um the way it looks now didn't look like that it started off another color they beat me out a lot of money and that's kind of um the ones that are that are on here that know me from um uh, the, the bike world, they know that um, I had the spinning wheel first, so that's what I'm known for, the, the spinning wheel. And that builder right there was absolutely terrible. I lost some, a lot of money, and um, so yes, it happens a lot. A lot. So it's, so it's not just the car world, it's the bike world as well. Yeah. And then, you know, anything that's custom is going to break. So we, we stay, we, I call it the spa. We stay at the spa a lot. So, it is what it is. <laughs> Do you cry when you break? Are you like, no, oh, I just, I just, I just, I, I don't want to do this. I cry, I cuss. Uh, yeah. <laughs> mm hmm It is. So, yeah. how fast does your bike go? Because it's pretty. Does it go fast? Um, yes and no. So, um, Recently, um, we became sound bikes, so we got sponsors. So um, now our bikes are competition bikes. So now they're heavy. Um, before I was running about 100 um, 80s. Now I'm down to like 73. Um, it's it's heavy. The front wheel is heavy. There's a lot of weight in it with all the speakers. So we we get like a wobble. So. We're heavy now, so now I'm in the process, you know, looking for a, ri a rider bike. Like, it's, yes, we ride them, but we don't ride them on the highway. We do ride them on the highway, but not at high rates of speed. It just, it don't make sense because now that it's so heavy, it takes longer to stop me. So you ain't going to speed past that. You say you used to drive 180? No, I'm saying they'll go 100, no, 80 to 100 miles per hour. Oh, I was about to say, you used to go 180 With, on that thing? No, 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 With the no, 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 80 to 100 miles per hour with the wheels, with the wheels. Mm -hmm. Now, a, a stock Harley with a regular wheel or 21, 23, yes, you can go well over 100 miles per hour. But with those big wheels on them, we don't do no more. Before I was doing 100, I don't do no more than 100. So, I know that when you ladies pull up, y'all probably intimidate a lot of guys pulling up on those bikes. I just would probably want to be a fly on the wall when y'all pull up and pull them bikes out and pull, I just I'm going to have to come to one of y'all events like I said even though I'm usually at mostly car stuff I got to come and see them guys face when y'all pull out y'all stuff <laughs> yeah, it's definitely ask, are you planning on doing any shows in Miami in the future we're trying. We're trying to get down there I just talked to a builder today from uh, Miami so we're trying to get down there any time. So, do you have how many shows do you have the rest of the year? And talk to us. Um, do you know the dates um, and the cities on those shows for the rest of the year? Um. So, so right now, um, 
Texas is the next big, the, the next event, and then we're trying to plan um, our, uh, the managers working on my birthday's in December, so I'm trying to put together a bike and car show, but we're trying to find a location big enough to hold it, so mm -hmm. we're trying to get it all figured out, and um, all else, if everything works, it'll probably be December the 5th, and um, then we're looking at, uh, we're going to do some, like a Christmas drive, a toy, last year we did uh, a toy drive. So we're trying to get together another toy drive. Um, we partnered with the church in, um, in Beaufort, South Carolina. So we're just trying to get all of our dates and figure out where the Christmas drive will take place. So what would you like your fans and followers and supporters to know about you personally and also about the Big Wheel Women? Um, we are definitely changing the game. Um, we're some trendsetters. We're not going nowhere. Um, a lot of the guys uh, were intimidated, and they gave us a hard time when we came into the sound game, but we're not going nowhere. We're creative. Um, and I sacrifice it all for what I believe. So. Everything. Everything. You're going you gonna to go or blow? I'm going to go hard. I'm going to go home. I ain't going home. Man, listen. I just got to let you know. If you want to sacrifice it all, you got a fan in me. Because a lot of people, they believe in stuff, but up to a certain point, but not enough to sacrifice it all. And anybody who will sacrifice it all, I'm a fan of theirs. Yeah, I so, believe in what I do. I believe in my skills. I got faith in what I do. I got faith in my team. So, yeah. So what do you ladies do outside of the car culture? Do you... Do you... um? On businesses, are you full time moms? What do you What do you have going on? Yes, I am a mom. I own a transportation company, trucking company, and um, I do a whole bunch of stuff in there. Tanisha, um, she's a realtor and she works for a postal service, so we do a lot. And she's a mom. Let's see, y'all ladies too, got so. multiple streams of income. That's what I'm talking about. See, one thing I gotta say, me and be thinking. We don't be knowing, but we have like legit real life stuff going on and we still be moms and we yeah. still be sometimes wives or girlfriends and like we just mm -hmm. juggle it all so well and then they have one little thing going on and they be whining and you be like. <laughs> yeah, women built like that with a backbone. Right, right. So. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to make sure that I got you on because I know it's going to be um, it's, it, I, when I look to try and get you on before COVID, this, like your schedule was crazy. So I'm like, I got to try to figure out a date and time in which I can get her on. And so I want to make sure because I didn't bring you on during Women's Month. Um, you were busy, like super busy at that time. But I want to make sure that I got you on. Yes. March. Yeah, we do a women's empowerment ride um, in Daytona. So our ride and then our event, you know, is bike week. So we do both bike weeks, March and um, October, bike October. Right. So, yeah. I just want to make sure I got, got you on this because people need to know that, you know, women are in this culture and we standing up. Like, so don't think we know pushovers. And y'all yeah. just gone, you know what I mean? So when you pull that bike out the trailer, when you and Tanisha pull that bike out the trailer, I can't wait to be there and see that. Because that's crazy. Yeah. I bet them guys be looking like... Yeah, they do. <laughs> I got to shout out Kamari, um, the young lady that's, uh, on the, that's just commented. She makes all of my shoes and my glitter. Um, she's Kamari Creation, so... We take the, the bike game to a different level with our clothes and all the bling. So she, I just wanted to shout her out. So if y'all yeah. aren't following Kamari's creations, y'all go do that now. Make sure y'all go follow this young lady. Um, yeah. Because if y'all want custom shoes, if y'all seen um, the Big Wheel Women's shoes, go follow her and y'all can get you some custom shoes. Yeah. And y'all know we shoes like to support. We support. We support. Yeah. So I'm going to leave her pin down there. So any, any, anything you want to tell us in closing? Because those were all of my questions. No, that was it. Hope to see y'all at some of the events or real soon. Um, when we're in um, 
Where area are you in? Are you in Florida? You're not in Florida. I'm in Florida, in Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. I'll actually, oh, in Jacksonville. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll be in Texas next weekend. That's why when you said Texas, I mean, not not next weekend, this weekend for a two day event for Hood to Hood. When you said Texas, I'm like, is she gonna be at? But you said it's it's the, around the seventh, right? It's the seventh. Uh huh. It's called Texas okay. Street Fest. And what part of Texas so, is that in? It's in Houston. In Houston. Okay, so if you guys are in the Houston area or any part of Texas, y'all go out and support. Go see those beautiful bikes. Those things, like I said, to me, they don't look like they should be being ridden. They look like they should just be sitting there taking pictures with them and stuff like that. But them ladies ride them bikes. Yeah, so y'all go out and see them. They they don't have a problem with taking pictures with you guys. Um, you know, all those things. They're very personable. So, yeah, y'all make sure y'all go support. Because support is important. Yes, thank you. I appreciate it. Yep. So thank you so much for sitting down. I know you're a busy, busy lady. I know you're going to get off here and you got other stuff to do. But we appreciate your time. And yeah, make no sure you, you um when you post that event, you just tag me so I could just put it in my story so everybody could see and come and support. Okay, no problem. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you. You enjoy the rest of your day. All right. Good night. Bye.